report, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> um, I want to thank you and Chief Green and Chief Green's staff for assisting the Red Cross with their um, smoke detector program this past Saturday. This is a program that involves several weekends of work with the Red Cross. They go out and canvas particular areas and really identify the need and then go in and help those citizens, which we know in the turn in turn helps us with um, those live outcomes and, and saving property where that's concerned. So thank you both for that. Um, I did want to report um, just a couple of meetings ago, you all approved a change in um, the way we post our heavy equipment for sale online. We had been using gut deals for that. It had not worked as well. We had some equipment that was sitting. Uh, we moved forward with tech bid and already. We have um, eliminated eight pieces of equipment and received revenues um, in the amount of $197,600. So great job, Robin. Um, Stephanie, please thank Amy for her role in helping with that as well. Yesterday, Commissioner Weisenbaker asked uh, where our fuel costs currently were. Um, if you remember a couple of meetings ago, I gave you all an update. Um, in 2021, uh, we were paying $1.97 for unleaded and $2.05 for diesel. Um, the update that I gave you a few weeks ago was $2.57 for unleaded and $2.98 for diesel. Currently, we are paying $3.58 for unleaded and $4.36 for diesel. So okay. we are seeing that same increase, <laughs> increase there. Um, <clears throat> elections, we have um, checked on the board of elections. Deb Cox, our election supervisor, has certainly been in our thoughts since early this morning. Um, as I stated yesterday, the chairman and I met with, with her and the board last week to go over some things. Um, I just, again, want to express my appreciation to Public Information, Public Works. They'll be working through tomorrow. Um, Megan's been working on this today. And then certainly ITS. So Erin um, also checked on her early this morning. There's been some assistance they've provided throughout the day. She's also asked for some assistance this afternoon. And so Erin and his staff will be on standby as they close the polls to help them there. And then the last thing that I have for you is Memorial Day. Um, our offices will be closed on Monday, and there's um, a federal order for the flags to be lowered, so we'll be managing that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,